Farmers have always known that soils are important, but uh, what is emerging from a recent understanding of global processes that soils are not only important in the level of a field or a, or a profile, but also globally. So both climate and soil properties interact to uh, provide uh, numerous uh, ecosystem services, but also to uh, play a major role in some of the, um, of the uh, big uh, or largest uh, biogeochemical cycles that affect uh, the planet in addition to affecting uh, what we get from the soil. Uh, also, uh, it, sound, it may sound trivial, but uh, most terrestrial plants and life uh, depends on uh, services provided by soils. So uh, let's place this a bit in context. Um, you see here in the image on the right, the map of the greenness of the planet, that is uh, vegetation that is supported by soil. A recent paper uh, from last month, this is uh, May 2018, uh, estimated that about 85% of the global biomass, the lingering global biomass or stocks of global biomass is associated with forest, with plants, uh, and all of them, as you know, grow on soil. So what are the services that are provided by soil? We uh, tend to give them names, uh, uh, regulating services, provisional services, uh, and we summarized uh, kind of in this picture uh, on the left uh, some of the uh, primary um, boxes that we can associate with soil. As I mentioned, soils provide anchoring and growth media for plants, and that's all our food and fiber uh, needs. It supports more than 85% of the global biomass stocks. Actually, I had this number at 95% before this recent paper that corrected the inventory. And in fact, the difference in the, in the numbers is, is bacteria that lives in the soil. So, that 95% of supporting of biomass is actually still correct, except it's not uh, uh, attributed to plants, but also to bacteria. Soil also serves as reservoir and functions as a giant water recycling system. Uh, it is nature's uh, chemical recycling system, and therefore it supports a large a global biogeochemical cycle of carbon and nitrogen. It provides habitats for the largest number of organisms. These are the uh, micro, microbial life that lives in soil. In a handful of soil, you may have many more organisms than the eye can see on the planet. And of course, it's, it, we use soil as a building material, as a foundation for houses and roads and so on. People have asked, tried to estimate the economic value of these services provided by soil and came up with a number that is uh, you know, a bit unimaginable, $100 trillion uh, per year which is much more than the global uh, gross national product uh, of uh, 72 trillion. In other words, we get more services than the soil than all human, activi uh, human economic activity put together. Uh, for the global context, um, soils modulate uh, some of the most important fluxes that are important for our climate. Uh, for example, the hydrologic cycle, every raindrop that falls on the land will infiltrate through the soil and evaporate ultimately through the soil layer. Uh, the carbon cycle has a major component of the carbon cycle coming from the soils. Of course, there are other uh, uh, components in the ocean, for example, but they are smaller, also in terms of not only fluxes, but also in terms of stocks of carbon. And of course, uh, interaction of radiation with surfaces and so on uh, at least on a third of the planet would be modulated by soil conditions, how wet the soil, whether there is vegetation and so on. So the take home message is that soil is central to, uh, to life support on earth. It is also an, uh, controls important fraction of soil biogeochemical cycles. And of course, um, it uh, modulates uh, the climate of the earth. So when we try to model uh, large scale processes, be it large hydrological model, or be it an earth system model or a climate model, we have to consider processes that take place in the soil explicitly in these models.